assuming we're live, and if we're not live, we're definitely live on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll definitely be live. Uh, real quick, uh, before announcements, running pit crew tonight is Jake. Jake, lean one way or another. Those are his arms. That's movie magic. And special thanks to production director John, who is off camera. He, he thumbs up. He gave us a thumbs up. So let's get into it. I will be your host tonight. I am the man, the myth, the Megazord, Ben, and this is episode two of K uh, Queens of Chaos. I'm gonna say chaos. Uh, awesome. Queens of Chaos. Uh, real quick announcements. Uh, we just posted our uh, Pokemon D and D explanation video for Capcom. So if you plan to go to Capcom, which you should be, go watch that video and it'll explain where you go over the character sheet and the rules of the game. <laughs> And then tomorrow, instead of our uh, normally scheduled Chaotic Awesome game, we're going to end up playing tomorrow. So come back tomorrow night for more D&D. So we're going to we're gonna introduce all the players tonight from my left to right. I don't know how that is on camera. Starting with Sydney. Hi, my name is Sydney. I am playing Nala, the halfling barbarian. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm playing Soraya, the fire genasi fighter. I'm Amanda, and I am playing Ogris, the half-orc cleric. I'm Taylor, and I'm playing Anais, the Asimar bard. Hi, I'm Shelby. I am playing Serenia, the druid. I'm Birdie, and I am playing Viari, the rogue. All right, so just to paint a picture, last time you girls bravely braved the Pearl Palace to rescue your friend Beatrix, after which you decided to go find Sandy Clearwater. The original sacrifice. Uh, you managed to fight off some Shinaragans. So I can never say that. Any of you guys know how to say that? Saharagans. Saharagans. And uh, rescue a guard that they were going to sacrifice. He informed you that a giant uh, Sandy Clearwater was sold to a giant by three. Come on, Jake. By, <laughs> by three uh, members of the Reach. Uh, one more thing, real quick. If you can't watch tonight, the whole time, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe, because then we'll post this, and then you can watch. So do that now. I'll wait. No, I'm joking. I'm not going. All right. So uh, now we left off with the seven of you staring at a giant footprint in the mud. It's about as deep as you are tall. Uh, and when we last left off, you guys said you were going to follow the, the footprints. But before you have a chance to, your tiefling falls ill. She just faints. Sick. On the ground. Oh, fuck. Well, we can't <laughs> leave her. Shit. <laughs> Why? What, well, what are we going to do? I don't really like her, but we can't just like let her die. Ugh. Unkind. Uh, we'll just let her well, rest at the end. Still need her. Yeah. Cleric. Does she, uh, <laughs> Does she need to out. be conscious to attune her to the genie bottle? She's already attuned. All know. right, well, let's just through. push her in there. Yeah. Let's do that. Her in there for now. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. You don't know what's causing her illness. Sounds like a personal problem. Does anyone want to check? Yeah, let's check that out. Oh, Who okay. should check that out? I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can. Uh, make a medicine check. I have plus four, so... Yeah, you oh, should probably you make... Oh, yeah. yeah. I should definitely make it. Oh, it's one, yeah. right? Yes. So, 13 plus four is 17. Yeah, uh, you start, you know, kind of going over her body. Um, it is not anatomy you're used to, because she is part demon, um, or otherworldly creature. I don't want to be judgmental. You don't want to be judgmental. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but it seems more magical in nature than a normal disease or illness. So maybe someone that's good with Arcana should check her. I have a plus one. I have a plus two. I have a plus four. With Arcana? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Go for Arcana. it. Go for it. Bird is like, I Get do it, everything. Go ahead and roll. That's for the win. I rolled well, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one. Wow. Anybody, anybody else? How did... Well, how do you, you, you know you don't know anything. They don't know that you don't know anything. How do you want to react? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she t 
tenses up, <laughs> looks confused. Anyone else? I got a two. And Nate with magic. There's at least one other caster in the group. Look at you. I have a zero. Oh, you have a zero on our camera? Yeah. Oh, give it, okay. give it a shot. Have, we'll check it out. I know the half lane's not going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 That's a nice one. Yeah, you guys have we no know that. Yeah. 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 As you guys kind of scratch your head, <laughs> San Ray comes up, uncorks the genie bottle, and just starts sucking her in it. Mm-hmm. And there she goes. Sounds good. Like. Mm, these idiots. <laughs> we'll figure out what's wrong with them later. Okay, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. So, you guys want to follow the big indents, the giant like footsteps? Well, yes. Yeah. Why not? Yes. So, um, <laughs> any of you good at tracking? I know one of you are. I know. There's one that's a ranger in this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Make, make a survival check and see if I mean these are giant indents in the ground, so it shouldn't be too hard to track. Hopefully, yeah. Let's see if my dice hate me tonight. Uh, yeah, they they do. They're oh. unchanging. Eleven. Oh, okay, eleven. You needed a ten to be serious. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I rolled a four. So yeah. I got a plus five in proficiency, so that helped a bit. You would notice that for giant footsteps, and as, as deep as they are, you think it'd be something very, very tall, but the stride, the gait of the actual steps, is kind of more of a waddle than a than a giant's stride would be. Um, so you track these steps, these footprints for about two whole hours. Does anyone want to do anything during this two hours or are you just going to walk in silence? Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'll Maybe sing a motivation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. Yeah, bard song. She's like, oh, well. Uh, <laughs> a hunting we will go. <laughs> 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 that went on for like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, you can see the map here. Uh, I'm going to put the ranger in front, so she would be the one tracking the footsteps. Uh, where's my marker? They're about this big in nature. And go across that uh, lake here. Almost like there was a log there to walk across, but something stepped on it and crushed it recently. Um, Wonderful. Make a perception check. I'm going to put the other girls back here. You guys didn't give me a marching order, so I'm just going to put you where I want you. 14. Okay. Yeah, you see a very, the back of a very large, robust creature uh, that seems to be squatting on the ground. Oh, that's disturbing. <laughs> Not facing you. What do you do? Uh, I tell everybody else. Quietly. <laughs> what do you tell them? Oh, there's a large, grotesque, something, I don't know, something looks like it's bending over trying to do something. It does not look friendly. <laughs> Hope we didn't walk in on a bathroom break. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, if someone find me a cricket, it. we could try to put it to sleep. A cricket? I need a cricket for the sleep spell. Oh. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I cannot do all the work. We're in the woods. <laughs> I cannot do all the work. There's bound to be cricket. <laughs> Come on, Druid. Make a survival check something? if you're looking for a cricket. Me? Yeah, you. Oh, great. Chimney Cricket. Nine. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Does a grasshopper work? No. <laughs> no. Pinocchio's not around. There's nothing to. No one's conscience. We'll check for rose petals, but does anyone else have an idea before we do that? It's been about a minute. She's still messing with something with her back turned to you. 
Did it look like she had anything with her? It's bending over something. Yeah, it's something. She's needed. very large. It's hard. To, I can't really see, see around. around. Yeah. Is there a way we can creep around? Madrid, I don't have X-ray vision. Yeah. Do, Do we have to like go someone? over the yeah. water? Because I'm not a big yeah, fan of that. Say, we can't get across the river. Like, without you know, know fire to water's not really my shit. <laughs> 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 Extinguish her flame. Do you want to try to just around? I'm touching the fucking water. Yeah. I mean, we should try to move around. Where do you want to go? Give me a laser pointer. Uh, go this way or this way? I think they're my favorite part, honestly. <laughs> what do you think I'm leaking capabilities? Thanks. Over this way. Okay. So. I see which part by the river is sort of. You can get it right about there. At, at the max movement within this time frame. <coughs> I don't know if I would be able to see anything from there since I'm not the ranger. Well, you can make a perception check. Okay, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Still tell about it. Oops. That no. was my lap. Oh, okay. 19 <laughs> plus 120. <laughs> 30. <laughs> Is it 21 good? Okay, uh, yeah. So, you see that she has very, um... I'm going to say sausage fingers, <laughs> <laughs> and is trying to tie a little rope around a little woman, and it's not working. But you also see that behind her, that uh, the druid didn't notice, or the ranger, um, oh, there was, there's about four little goblins oh, right. that are trying to are trying to help her tie this person up, but you know she keeps kind of shooing them away and poking them over. I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. She agrees about that, honey. <laughs> so that's what you know is what you can do. Um, she doesn't notice you yet. Well, I suppose at that point I should... Actually, make me a stealth check. I should probably go back to the rest of the group. Make me a stealth check. Okay. Not that it matters. So you get back there very unseen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell them? Um, I tell them that I was able to see that this troll has what we can presume is sandy clear water. And there's a bunch of little goblins that we have to mess with, so how are we yeah. going to pursue this mission from here? Plan, anyone? Attack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can ask nicely. Soraya or we pulls out her sword. I think we're going to have to charge right in. We're going to have well. to cross yeah. this water, and they're going to hear us, so. All right. Everybody who's, <laughs> Everybody who's, you know... Weakness to fire. I was about to say weakness to water. It's water. Get water bottle. Issue. Well, we'll throw you a scarf. I got, I got this flying scarf. Oh, okay. so oh, I'm gonna she like just hold it, it and like use it. I had that. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it out of the bag of holding and hand it to. <laughs> Let her float over the water. Oh, thanks. Do you have to attune to it? Your nope. No, you just have to hold it. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's just a scarf. Do you have to? Oh, yeah. She would have to. Like, do I know? It's like. It's kind of like a scarf, but it's like Doctor Strange's like cloak of levitation. Yeah. That you wrap it around you, mm-hmm. and then you just kind of like pixie fly. Okay, cool. It doesn't like choke you or anything. It's oh, just, good. Thanks. <laughs> the act of it being around you kind of you yeah. see glitter, kind of cover your body, and you start to levitate off the ground. Cool. It is like a little bit of air, you know. Yeah. But you're like, all right, well. Make me an acrobatic check real quick. Because you're, you're basically in zero gravity. I want to make sure you're not like flipping. Nine. Nine. Yeah, you Wait you start to go forward and, and they kind of steady you. So Thanks, guys. Yeah. You're like, I got this. I think I can, I can fight like this. <laughs> uh, make a stealth check. Because you guys were allowed doing that. Oh, okay. Eleven. Well. I gotta roll this thing's perception, which let me say this ain't famous for a perception. No, you're good. Awesome. 
Oh yeah, oh, make that. You make a roll too. Four. What am I rolling for? Uh, your stealth. Thirteen minus one, so twelve. Yeah, you guys good. <laughs> so what's what's the plan? You guys right now have the element of surprise, so you can move as much as you want until the get in until they notice you. I just want to get on my feet on the other side of the water. Okay. So is anyone gonna follow her as she starts to hover? I yeah, can do an acrobatic check and do like a like flip over. <laughs> <It's gotta be laughs> <crazy. laughs> well, yeah, oh, you're already making the rolls, all right? Five. Um, make a perception check for me, real quick. Do you want me to follow you over? Three. Three. Oh wait, I have keys. That's true. So advantage on perception. Roll again. I rolled another two. Um, make an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I feel like I need one. Yeah. Um, I like making the make check. Leave me alone. But it's flying speed becomes 30 feet. 16. Over two. 16? Yeah. Yeah, so you would know that <laughs> it's a little bit too big of a distance for you to just hop. But maybe if there was something you could, like, skip set from another you can make some flip rolls. Oh the rocks that are on the map there. Yes. So the rocks and these little uh logs are there as well. I know it's hard to see. Would that rock be close enough? <laughs> yeah there's a rock here. Oh that's what that was actually the rock yeah. I was wondering about too. Okay. So Or we could just like would that be two actions from that distance? Would they boulder to jump? Because it would be too Well far here's what I'll do. You're right here and I'm gonna go down the line. Where do you wanna be? Where Marie is. Oh uh, well make stealth check. Now that you're right there. 21. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can you roll. see her? No. <laughs> <laughs> you make me roll hard. So, you want to be right next to her? Yeah. Yeah, make a stealth check. Oh, why? <laughs> Nat one. Nat one. Ooh. Uh, you kind of, even though, you know. The druid is not graceful. <laughs> uh, Viari is super stealthy. She just kind of, <laughs> don't even hear her great leaves as she runs across them. Aww. You kind of come up behind her, pat her on the back, I'm with you! <laughs> Say about that loud. And at that point, the uh, flying giant great. turns, Ooh, Who's there? You here for a wedding? Wedding morrow. She weakened? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we tell her we're here for the wedding and we're early. So you you come up to here. We're sorry. <laughs> we're sorry. Like and stuff. Do you guys want to move up? And yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. No, Take me to the river. Okay, everyone's up to the river. Where does early wedding go? Yeah. So what do you say? That we apologize for being early, but we are part of the wedding party, mm. and we wanted to know mm. if you needed us to help you with anything before the ceremony. Make a deception check. Nineteen <laughs> <laughs> plus five. <laughs> Twenty-four. Good lord. <coughs> oh. Okay, you help. Go get food. I like the food, and we need food for wedding. You have a food preference? Uh, King Bull like all meats and and vegetables. Yes, meats and, and veggies. Uh, Favorite is smaller people like her. Oh, we're, can we not eat the people this time? Can we skip the people? Maybe a nice boar. It's a special occasion. A big boar. <laughs> <laughs> Dire boar. Mm -hmm. She goes back to trying to tie this woman up. King Bone. What do you want to do? You're kind of hovering. Yeah. Um, do you want some help tying up this lady? <laughs> Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh, that's... That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks over at you and goes, with her large fingers, Go away, red lady. <laughs> she just struggles. So, while... Who's gonna come with me to find the food? The goblins start looking at you really suspiciously. Oh, Say no to the goblins. I'll come with you. 
Oh, since I'm, I'm obviously no help here. I'm, I'm <laughs> supposed to be getting honey. One of the goblins. Well, actually, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, what do goblins be? Common, yeah. One of the goblins say, hey. Hey, how you know King Ball? Got Brandon Seuss's little dagger. How do we know King Bong? How do you know King Bong? Make a deception check. Seven. Seven. She starts tapping on the giant who's still sitting down. Mm -hmm. She kind of just goblin kind of grabs onto the flabs and rolls and kind of like a ladder gets off. Her. Goes past her hanging. Have you seen the jaw from the Hobbit movie and the goblin? Mm -hmm. Kind of one of those. And whisper something in her ear. Mm -hmm. But now you mention it, how do you guys know King Bone? I'm King Bone's first wife and I've never seen any of you. He hired me to perform for his second wedding. And obviously we're caterers because Make we're awesome check. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 17. Just flat? No, 12 plus 5. Oh, okay. That'll do it. Uh, and she kind of brushes the little goblin off her shoulder. Uh, it's, it's probably fine. Okay, these lights are not going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps trying to tie this lady up to no success. Oh, yeah. We could always go with her. We hope she's jealous and doesn't keep us. <laughs> no, no, I doubt it. No. Oh, I don't think the so food seems like, like a good option. Yeah, let's, we let's, let's do food. food. Yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to go to food. Somebody needs to say it. I have to go. I was like, oh, she's probably one at a time. So I have to go with the with the woman because I'm officiating the ceremony since I'm a cleric. You say so, this to her? Yes. So I have to stay with you. I have to know where you guys are going. So I'm going to follow you. Well, right here is where wedding is going to be. Right here. Yeah, yes. pretty. And this is the glade where me and King Bone got married. I don't know why he'd marry one so thin. Okay, so I will be staying here. Make a deception check. I'm down there. Just a bit. Twelve. I was going to say, like, she didn't want to wife. I know. She's just keep going. Are you rolling like me, Ben? I've been rolling this big die. I'm going to go to roll my normal 20. I had fancy priest lady at our wedding. It hardly seems fair. Maybe he likes his tiny one more. I mean, we could do a second ceremony yeah. for you. Um, when you get out. She looks disdainfully. This, she looks disdainfully at you. Uh, so who wants to go find food? I'm going with the Janasi. Yeah. Okay. So the still hovering Janasi. Is it, is Give me the fuck away from the water. <laughs> and the uh, Asamir Bard go looking for food. I'd go, but I'm probably useless. Make a survival <laughs> Honestly, checks. I'm probably useless. Rangers are useless. And how long are you girls going to wait for them? Uh, mm -hmm. Nat 20 plus 3. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you find a boar. You find everything. You find, all the <laughs> you find a dire boar and his whole family. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she doesn't find anything. She's more of a hindrance than a help. Oh, <laughs> you have to silence her a couple times. Like, She's kind of you, a beacon. You find a... Uh, so there's not a lot of game in this area necessarily, mostly because a big giant lady just came and stomped her way through that usually scares creatures off. But you managed to find a uh, doe that was already trapped in some hunter's trap. Yeah. Score. Score. Awesome. Just undo the knot and start taking the doe back. Absolutely. Yeah, he's um, all this would have took <laughs> about 20 minutes. So in that 20 minutes, what do you guys do? I'm going to try not to screw up anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
stand behind Purdy. <laughs> the the goblins have all moved to the edge of the the shore and are eyeballing all of you warily. They're a little smarter than she is. Uh, but if you guys don't do or say anything and you just sit there in that Mexican standoff for a little bit, uh, eventually the uh, fighter and bard come back. Uh, what do you guys say as you carry this beer? On a leaf? What we got. Well, mostly her. I didn't do shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could just play. Help to carry it back. Yeah. <laughs> Joyful game of Red Broker. We should probably try to feed this thing and get her, but what are we going to do about these goblins? Let's talk about that. In a huddle, where the goblins cannot hear us. You could think of. So you guys huddle? Um, yeah, well, that's a little <laughs> obvious. Yeah. I mean, a can we deceptively huddle? Aren't we? Let's you, you will have to make uh, a group stealth check. Uh, whoever, well, oh whoever speaks during the huddle will have to make a stealth check. Well, who's making the plan? Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you have a deer with you. Okay. So what do you say? That sounds like a Before good Before you say anything <laughs> in the huddle, make a stealth check. 17 plus 2. Okay, so you start whispering. <laughs> I'm whispering that I have this deer and we need to feed it to this monster thing and get this girl and get out of here. But you don't have to actually whisper. Oh yeah. Speak louder. So, <laughs> <laughs> she just like spreads her wings out and puts it around the group. Yeah, okay. she's like she's like cocoon. The oh, goblins are like, ooh, pretty feathers. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Uh, so what are we gonna do about the goblins though? Hmm. Is there any way we can lure them over here? Probably. Uh make stealth. We need check. to not attract the attention of the giant either. She's really working on that uh, not really nine. hard. Seems like she would ask for help by now. She's okay, uh, really self-sufficient. Independence is You guys kind of hear yeah, it is, as, for the first forms. time, the giant starts to slowly stand to its feet. <sighs> Pushing off its knees. <sighs> That's what you hear while you're in the huddle. That's gross. Sounds plummy. I'm really glad I'm really glad we can't see this. <laughs> um, we probably need to know what she's doing. Yeah. So like is there a reason we haven't moved to the other side of the river? I thought we were gonna stuff the genie in the lamp and move. <laughs> she's she's got that scarf on. Yeah, she can yeah. She's still yeah. floating. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right, so let me do that. I'm yeah, ready to go. Let's just go talk you to guys. If it's a matter of them not letting, we probably should find a way to persuade them to let us over. Yeah. Make a stealth check because you've been talking. Really? <laughs> stealth? That's <laughs> kind of your jam. Seven. Not no. Today. no. The, elves, okay. the elves are not, not doing today. well. today. <laughs> Sneaky ladies, what are you talking about? Now, stop it. Done. Was done talking. Oh, you bring deer? I yeah, did. Yeah, I we were wondering. Just one deer? For now. For starters. Right. It's an like, Yeah, exactly. We eat the little one, too. No, oh. no, no. This I is just like her. a starter. We'll go for more food later. But we wanted to bring you this. Can we come to your side of the river and bring it to you? Make a deception. 19 plus. <laughs> <laughs> really? They are totally deceived. <laughs> 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 Do you know where to get these dice? <laughs> 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 to get some. You and me. Yeah. Me, can I bring one more? Uh, the little one, if I can eat her. No, no we cannot eat I her. I will go because uh, we need her. Oh, you say. That she's for the wedding. I'm going to wait for King Bolm to come and make sure this is all. Well, she might need help carrying the deer across. Well, you're water. a queen, aren't you? I said one. one. Okay. So, can I fly across the river and take with a deer? You can fly, but you can't carry this deer. It's and deer. so I do need help. She has to let me bring someone. I have to. Can't. I have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm pretty strong. Or the, both the flying people can just, like, take an end and carry it. I mean, the water isn't super deep. You'd find out. Okay. Once the deer kind of stepped into it, it, it comes to about its neck, so... You could either get in the water with it or just kind of hover and guide it across. 
I'll hover and guide him. <laughs> so you do that. Right, right. like what for? Hell no. And you pop up right about here. All right. And she reaches down and grabs the deer and just breaks its neck, puts it in a pouch that's hanging off one of her jowls yeah. on her back. Mm. You're going to eat that later, huh? Near. Boom. boom. Are you going there now? I'm not going anywhere. He's just coming here. Oh, do you know when he'll get here? We are so excited to see him again. No, he king of hill. He come goes as he wants to. Thank I you. I stay here. Yes. And guard Glade. Got it. Are these goblins your friends? King of hill needs servants. <sighs> yeah, so. So they take orders from you? <sighs> you could say. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm gonna hyperventilate breathing. <laughs> 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 I was a little weird about that. So where is Sandy Clearwater in relation to where <coughs> she, she looks right now? um unconscious. She's in between the giant's legs right now. Good place um, to be. Or kind of make a perception <laughs> check. I'll tell you more. Do we get keen sense all day? Like this against one of our traits, so you think we Sure, make it out. Okay. Right. I'm not sure. That sort of landed in the middle. Well, I'll roll it again. Okay. Even <laughs> on you know, my clipboard, it landed in between 3 and 17. <laughs> so close it was to 20. 20, and then it hit so that and it right back. So, uh, yeah, no, I totally... What was your total? <laughs> Did I roll more than 3? Yeah, you just kind of see the the vague silhouette of a person kind of in between the giant's leg. But she's in between her legs. Yeah. It's not somewhere I could try to, like, stealth in there and, like, sneak her out. I mean, you can try to stealth in there, but tell me how you do it. Let's see, where am I right now? Um, You're right here. At this point, I don't really know how I can stealth across the river with goblins staring at us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I guess... Can I just move further, like, this way, to where I can get on this stone further away from where they are? Yeah, make a deception check. You're not really trying to be stealthy, you're just kind of like... <laughs> I can't whistle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, eight. Now my dice is... <laughs> well, I roll a one, so your dice is... Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Small yeah, you can... You can be right about there. And then they're, this one's kind of eyeballing you, and he kind of moves a little down that way, but not not too much. He's still kind of focused on the bigger group of people. We need to distract them somehow. Mm -hmm. You're still on the other side. Like, so, so, I was thinking about that. So can can I sleep them? I mean, you can try. I thought you still need a spell component for them. Right, I see some roses, because now we've crossed the river, and it's a body of water, so there should be roses in the forest. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Make a survival check. You didn't roll hot tonight. Four. No. no. You pick up a red flower and you're like, oh shit, it's not a rose. <laughs> then I check for sand. Oh, there's definitely sand. I'll give you that one. I can have some sand? Yeah. Alright, I sleep them. Okay. So you ready? So, how sleep works if you roll the dice and if you, oop, you nudge that camera, how are we looking? Good still? You still look good. I, I, I was, my cam was nudged. And now, pit crews. How are we looking? <laughs> I got this. <laughs> good Way to go, Jake. So tired. I think we're about right. John, you want to take a look at that? It'll work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it works. Alright, so how it works is you roll the damage, and if the damage exceeds their hit points, they fall asleep. Okay, do I do that with 20? No, uh, so someone hand, pit, grab that. It's, uh, I think it's a certain amount of D8. Help her out with that spell. Oh, it's, it's oh sleep. I have a card. Yeah, I'm sure it's I know 5 D8. Yeah, do you make a spell save against it? What does it say? 5 D8. Is it a spell save or no. a spell attack? Or just 5 D8? Roll. Yeah. Alright, so roll 5d8 and how many targets does it hit? Thank you. Okay. 
one more. You can nominate the amount of creatures that that within 20 feet down. of you. Okay. So you, you, can, can, you can get. I can wear it. That magic girl. Whoops. You can. You can hit. She has to choose three Wait, beforehand. That one? Yeah. Is it total for all of them? I she chooses how many, and then it, the total so HP uh, rounded up. Okay. So hey, uh, how many targets do you want to hit, or do you just want to hit the giant? Because you can hit everyone but this one. Can I hit all the three goblins and the giant? Yes. Yes. But it's gonna spread their amount of HP. You would have to roll more than all of their total HP. So can we focus on the goblins for the moment? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and roll. Five Add these up? Yes. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Well, they all have... So you sleep two of them. I'm going to say the two closest to you fall asleep. Amen. But she recognizes that you just cast her spell. And she's been a little untrusting of you this whole time. Shit. I want everyone to roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Once everyone has their initiative. Uh, 19. Uh, I'll, uh, oh, hold on, I'm gonna go around. Okay, 20. 19. 19. Who has the higher dex? Oh, you Nine. Two. oh. Uh, What do I check? Which one is it? Dexterity. Oh, 12? What do you have? With uh, the, the one over here, I only yeah. have three. No, 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 total dexterity. 19. Oh, I think. Yep, 19. You have 19 dex? What's in the dex box? <laughs> That's 17. Oh. 17, yeah. So she would go up for being 30. Yeah, I do the, the dash. Yeah, I was just like, what? Uh, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Oh. Bang. <laughs> 12, 10, oh. 9, 10. Oh, yeah. 9, 8. Seven. That's them. Six. Five. Five. Gosh, you guys roll great. This is just like the guys' game. <laughs> Four. I need new dice. Three. Two. Is that everyone? I got two. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I rolled yeah, last. Last. <laughs> rolled like last game. game. One. I think that's everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Birdie, you're up first. Okay. Um. Vre. I'll, I guess if she has noticed us, <laughs> we may as well start attacking yes. at this point. So I want to hop onto the big rock, the big rock, and do a flip over onto the grass in front of that okay. goblin. Okay. Make me an acrobatics check. <laughs> <laughs> So you land on the rock and it's wet and you slip off it and you're not prone in the water. Of course I am. Yeah. So that's all your movement for this turn. I'm just gonna lay here in the water, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back for you. Uh, Taylor. Uh, so how close is that other awake goblin to me? He's about 15 feet from you. How close is the monster? Uh, about the same. All right. The giant. Mm -hmm. The flat giant is actually <coughs> uh, So I'm going to get a little closer to the giant. I want to show the camera that. Mm. <laughs> uh, a little closer, how close? Within 10 feet. Okay, right there. Okay. Uh, then, I want to whip it. Whip, whip it good, yeah. Oh yeah, you're using that token? Yeah. So it's a bonus action to activate the token, you uh -huh. throw it up in the air, and all around you... The, the token is about as long as you are, and you extend your hand to get it to attack. Roll, help her out, help her use that. This one? 20 plus 9. 20 plus 9. Oh, 15. That is a hit. Do your damage. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Is it like 56 or something? D6 plus 5. D6 Seven. Plus 5. 7 points of damage? Yeah, so this, you take this token, this small feather like whip token, and you 
click it on magically a long width. I mean, it's twice the length of your body. It wraps around you, and then you extend your arm, and it <laughs> smacks it right on the uh, uh, kind of breast area. It leaves a big indent. <laughs> you see ripples. <laughs> through the flab. Yeah, awesome. through the body. So, there we go. And then it is Sydney's turn. Okay. Well, I have a potion of healing, so I'm going to do that <laughs> before I do anything. That's your bonus action, so yeah. Okay. You <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're talking about eating me this whole time. <laughs> She's kind of floating about a foot off the ground. Six plus five, eleven. Yeah, you hop right on her back, point your axe out. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna say that's your action. So next turn, when she takes you over there, you can hop down and do your okay. attacks and stuff. No, that's the right thing. Oh. Okay, uh, then it is Sarah, you're up. I'm gonna go across Soraya. the river. You're gonna tentatively fly, what's the flying speed on that? Uh, the flying speed? Yeah. 30, I think? Um, it's 50 because we're not over 200. Oh, nice. So yeah, you can get where you wanna be. You can get all the way up to this thing. Uh, yeah, why not? So you're about to put off the ground. You have to oh, land to attack. Oh, so yeah, yeah, I want to. I want to land. You're like yeah, over the water. <laughs> <laughs> so make your attacks if you want to attack. All right, yeah, might as well. I'll attack that other thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh fudge. Plus seven. Oh, I thought it was a one. <laughs> uh, plus what? A plus five. Yeah. So your total is 13? 12. 12? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you swing at it, you hit it, but you hit like a very blistered, callous part of the uh, flab giant itself, and it doesn't cut through all the blisters, or all the calluses. And you're like, ugh. Friggin' nasty. Yeah. So. Um. You got a bonus action. I know you bow guarded all those potions. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah. So then it goes to their turn. This big ugly thing is going to take two attacks at Sarah. Does a 17 hit. No. No? Okay. Oh, that's a 15, so that doesn't hit either. Okay. Well, he managed to avoid his attacks. Oh, my God. Um, then the goblins that are awake. Uh, what's this guy going to do? He's gonna, this goblin's going to point out, pull out his short bow, and shoot at the uh, prone... Grown and underwater. I rolled a nat 20 and a 2. So you lucked out there. And then this one is gonna put it short bow and short forward. Does a. Mm -hmm. 12 hit you? No. Okay, but you feel an arrow zing by you. Uh, man, I didn't do squat that turn. Pull you up. <laughs> I've got a question. I've got Hunter's Mark. 
And it says a weapons attack that count for range, or no, yes. it doesn't, okay. Then I'm gonna do Hunter's Mark, it's one of my spells, On and, uh... Your Hunter's Mark has a bonus action? What do your Hunter's Mark do? The goblins or the giants? Uh, I'll do the giant. There's not a big enough ring. <laughs> I have bigger rings. Do you want to hand me? Yeah, throw it to me. I wrestled. <laughs> <laughs> and do catching sports. <laughs> yeah. Hunter's mark. Alright, I'm gonna fire at it with my longbow. Okay. okay. Actually. So, yeah, you're gonna have to move just a little bit up to All get right. a clear shot. And if you. I'm gonna put you at an angle just so you don't All right. have your friends in your way. <laughs> so, take a shot. Nice. Right where the whip kind of struck her, an arrow <coughs> right through her chest. <coughs> You're dead. Alright. Sweet. Oh, there's that. Then I get an extra six. Eight. Eight. Nice. Okay. Then it is. Hey, I did something. <laughs> Right here, you're. You see this uh, <coughs> tree in front of you. It's broken half. Uh, there's about ten feet or worth of gap of water between both ends of the branch. That's up to be right immediately ahead of you. Okay, but the water is deep enough to where I can just. Yeah. It's shallow. It's about just kinda, deep for you. I can just wade across it very slowly and on my armor. Mm-hmm. And you only get half your movement. Is that what you want to do? Dang. Yeah, because I want to try to move up to where. You the halfling and the genasi. Getting on the uh, the tree and all that, you can get right about there. So as far as I can. And you come out wet. Mm -hmm. That was all my movement. Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Almost said wet from the waist down. I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you still said it. Well. I will do. Right, you will. Yeah. Okay. Is that a spell attack? I don't know. Jake, you're a player yeah. in the other game. Gun bolt says spell attack or spell save? Spell attack. Spell attack. So roll d20 and add your spell attack modifier. Well, what's my modifier? It's on the other sheet. Huh? Show her show where to modify. Is this it? Yeah. No. So 12 plus 4 is 16. Yeah, you're summoned a radiant bolt of energy and then. Cast it out forward at it, probably pointing with your uh, mace. Mm -hmm. And it hits it, do your damage. Alright, four, <coughs> <two>, six. <coughs> the next thing that attacks it has advantage, oh, right? I just have one. I need to get more. Oh, okay. Oh, man. So I have to <laughs> Jake, next thing that attacks it has advantage, right? Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. 9, 10, 13. 13, nice. Yeah, it hits, and it's not used to, it's being a giant and of its more bullying nature, it's used to physical attacks. So this kind of hits it and it feels funny, but you also see it kind of radiating now. Um, so what did you, what, how much damage did you do? 13. Nice. And then, for bonus action? Yes. I'm gonna do Shield of Faith on the Halfling. Nice. So she gets so, plus yeah. two to armor. Thanks. So yeah, you, after hitting the giant, you reach your other hand out, cast this bolt of energy that washes over the Halfling. Shoot. Please don't die. Kind of, kind of like when you look at a mirror in the sunlight, you kind of get a little wave like that real quick. Yeah. So you got plus two to your AC. Okay. Um, then it is back up to Viari. 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 Viari is the other one. <laughs> okay, well, Patrick Ruffus. I am still laying in the water, so. Yeah, you can get up, that's half your movement. <coughs> well, I'm almost out of the water now, so yep. just move the rest of the way out. Do you want to get up to the goblin? Yeah. Okay, you're out of the water, but your face is facing that goblin. Um, can I still attack? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So I just want to go stabby stabby with my short sword. Go stabby stabby. Okay, so I rolled a nat 20. Yeah. Um, <coughs> all kinds of murder. Do your damage. <laughs> so double it. So roll twice as many dice that you normally would. <laughs> Two sixes. Oh my god. <laughs> Already. Yeah. So, Jesus. you frustratingly do a kip up out of the water. <laughs> right in front of this goblin. So, you kick up out of the water right in front of this goblin. It has one of those, uh, I, I knew I shot an arrow at you, but don't be mad. I'm really sorry. You take your is it scimitar or rapier. Oh, I actually have short swords. Short swords. You take your short swords and just oh. gut it right in the stomach. <laughs> your raging is and then throw it in the water behind you. <laughs> fling off the blood off your blade. Stupid goblins. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah, you killed that thing. So the murder begins. <laughs> you definitely killed that thing. Oh, we killed something? Well, I yeah, goblin. Goblin. I was on a murder spree Ooh. last time, so. Uh, I rolled a 20 and yeah. then she got Damn. two sixes. Yeah, I rolled a 20 and max damage. Is that it? Did that, that do that something? Did I kill her? Kayla, you're up. So this giant thing is almost dead? Thinking about being dead? Thinking about uh, we just tickled it. What's your passive perception? Oh, 14. And just looked pissed off. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right, or something. I smiled at John off there, Um. Okay. Yeah, let me just stab it one more time while we think of a plan, because I, I don't so think, don't think we're going to kill it. at it? Um, yeah, let's whip it again. Okay, you have advantage <coughs> against it, because it's, uh, it was glowing. There it is. It's still glowing, so you can roll twice and take the higher number. A d20 twice? Yes. 17. Nice, yeah, plus it's packed, so yeah, you hit, you throw your whip at it again, smacks, this time at another angle across its chest, so you can leave a nice little red X on its chest. Sweet. Hit roll there! Your damage. Nice. Alright. So it is now. Anything else you want to do? You have your movement? Um, can I come like around it a little to the to this side of it? The other side of it. Yeah, you can get right about there. Well, can I be on the other side of it? I don't really want to be close to that goblin just right now. I have uh, a different plan. You have to get right about there because okay. there's a tree there. That's fine. Okay. So. Now it is Sydney, the halfling. Well, I guess I'll just attack. We have to hop off the back. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Whew. You I'm can off. hop off the back, <laughs> red throw. And um, I'm gonna rage. There you go. I'm very <laughs> upset. <laughs> you they hop off the back. They threatened to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> no one's eating yeah. me today. <laughs> so okay. pull out your two little axes and go. <laughs> Uh, 16. Nice. Okay. So your first one digs into its calf, and you, uh, you get a, you see blood coming out. Make your second attack, and it will do damage. Okay. 15. That's pretty cool. Yep. So you pull out your first axe, and seeing right where you hit before, you just slide the other axe right in there. Oh, yeah. So roll your damage dice. Okay. Plus, so it's... 36 plus 10. Oh. No. You only get your six plus five. Yeah, what's your? It says one plus seven. Six she gets plus range damage though. Yeah, so you get plus two, two for your range. Seven. Okay. What's your strength modifier? Three. Three. What? Two d six plus seven. Yeah, two d six plus seven. Okay. Roll it. Total. That's fine. <laughs> we do our strength damage a little differently. Uh, twelve. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so da. Da. <laughs> Good job. Uh, and that's your full turn. Okay. So then it's Sarah. Well, I guess I'll attack again. Not to be outdone. Yeah. <laughs> Not by this thing. Half my size. 14 plus. It's not half your size. I'm like 
19. <laughs> yeah. You kind of look at the halfling, I can hit it too, and just thrust your uh, uh, sword right into its stomach, kind of pinning two flabs together. Nice. That's a tragic. Take that. Square. Oh, no, that's it. You still have your movement. And remember, if you back away, it gets an attack on you. If I back away, it gets an attack? Or yes. I'm just gonna chill. Okay. That's her turn. <sighs> Meeting ladies hit me. <laughs> she makes two slam attacks at the halfling. I'm gonna eat you. Ooh, uh, 21. Does that hit you? <laughs> yeah. And then the other one <laughs> is a. Uh. 16. Remember, you have a plus, yeah, two. Yeah, have plus two. Okay, so no. Okay, so one slam attack hits you and does. Uh, 11 points of damage. <laughs> what? Like it's half. Oh, yeah, it's rage. You're raging, so it's half. So it does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Rage, right there. <laughs> Remember, raging, if it's uh, bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing, it packs it. Okay. okay. Yeah. And this was bludgeoning damage. She basically just punched you right in your little halfling face. <laughs> <laughs> no! Break her face. Yeah. Uh, well, she's she's a pretty tough halfling. She she's just kind of oh, a barbarian. Yeah. She's she spins bad. around. Uh, She's used to Galakets. Yeah. This just fuels my anger. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Shelby, you're up. Yay. <laughs> um, well, since everybody's on the... <laughs> I feel like Benny and... Oh, actually, sorry. This goblin, had, uh, this goblin had a turn. I'm going to take yeah. it now. It's going to move but right up to the bar. <coughs> back. Do 20 total, but that natural. So I'm assuming that hits. Um... So 1d6 plus 2. Take 4 points of damage. This goblin comes up behind you and kind of shanks you in the hip. Okay? Back to Shelby. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get to. If I get to this rock, can I just go into the water? Like, I'm just. Just screw not getting wet. Just get into the water and get over there and still hit something? Uh, you can move 15 feet. Or you can get on this rock. I'll get on that rock. Okay. Uh, look at how long sleep lasts for me. Oh. Uh, it's a long time. Yeah, I think it's one round. I think it's one minute. Until the spell. One minute duration. <coughs> duration. Is it concentration? Duration's one minute. Last ten rounds. Okay. <coughs> so, make your attack. Alright, and I still have Hunter's Mark on the giant. Troll. Yes. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna try to a hit giant. her again. Yeah, I'm gonna hit her again. This is a troll. Or at least try. Oh. <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> The flag giant. <laughs> flag flag giant. giant. Yeah. So. That's a legit thing. All right, which I hit my flag giant. Again. Oh, oh giant. my gosh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it actually giant flag giant. Flag. Wow. 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 That's That's this one's a female. I can tell. All right, which I hit my long bow again. Both are misodas. Holy shit. Oh. Oh yeah, it looks just like the men. Thirteen. Oh, it does. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah. Um, you see an arrow <laughs> zing into it. Uh, doesn't quite have the reaction. It just kind of sings into one of its thick areas of fat, oh, yeah. and it doesn't even react to it. No, actually, it's the exact, exact thing. Yeah, I know. It That's scary. Yeah. Can you make sound effects when we hit it? Like <laughs> oh. <laughs> noises. I mean, I can. No. Yeah, this arrow goes right into the uh, flabby area of its shoulder. So, then it is back to you. Please don't get it. Your turn. <laughs> it's hard okay. to miss. It's a big full creature. Alright. It's hard to get through um, all the layers of fat, you know. Let's see. You know next time I gotta pull back harder on my bow. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. go ahead and move me up next to... Oh, wow. 
like right up next to is it the halfling? <laughs> you want to be up next to the halfling yeah. or the goblin? The halfling. So you come up right yeah, behind the halfling. Right. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my channel divinity. Nice. So. So restore HP equal to five times my level. So I'm level two, so I can heal her for ten. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna heal you for ten hit points. So you channel divinity. You reach out and you touch the top or the back of the halfling's head, and you have to say something. You have to call upon your god. Call upon my god. So say something you know, to the effect of, in the name of whoever your deity is, I, I bless you. I heal you. Be healed. Touch her. Actually, do it. Touch her. <laughs> in the name of Ilmatar, be healed, my friend. And you are raging, and you feel this hand on the back of your head, and you get warm in your chest, kind of like you just drank hot chocolate. <laughs> Thanks, Green Lady. <laughs> so yeah, take the, okay. the ten health points. Yeah. Stop. Just stop. These are my boobs. Not <laughs> I can touch them if I want. Hot chocolate. Uh, we have a never-ending wineskin. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Just warm in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, anything else? Okay. Yeah. So That's then it is back up yet. to Birdie, who is still kind of slinking blood off her sword. I'm bringing her cloak out, like yeah. this is bullshit. Just yeah. feeling like a wet cat. Yeah, what do you want to do? How far can I move towards them? Uh, well, you're level two, right? Yeah. Do they get, yeah, do they get cunning actions at level two? Yes. So I have cunning actions. So you I have can move, move and act quickly. You can move 60 feet as a oh. cunning action and oh, get right up to it. Okay, so I definitely want to run right up to it. Okay. Because, I mean, I need to get a piece of this action. <laughs> and you have sneak attack because it's currently <coughs> surrounded. Okay. So at, at kind of blinding speed, you shake off some of the water and go look around. Time to work. <laughs> Just kind of Naruto run over there real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, and I have an item also. What is it? It's Dagger of Venom. Yes. Can I uh, that? You have to use a bonus action to charge it. Okay. So you um, used your bonus action to dash this round. Crap. So next round. Okay, so I'm just going to start by stabbing with my short sword. Then. Good, that's what you should do. <laughs> so. You have sneak attack. <laughs> I rolled a nat 19. Yeah, that sounds about right. So <laughs> you hit it. So seven plus mm -hmm. sneak attack. Two more d six for sneak oh. attack. Oh, I only have one more. Okay, well, you can roll, roll three times. Or roll four. Fourteen. Yeah, that sounds about right. So you <laughs> look around, dash over there, stab it right underneath the uh, kind of like hamstring uh, area there. It's butt. Yeah, <laughs> you're like a, as it kind of slides in, and you pull out, and it smells horrible as it hits you back there. Um, and you see a, couple, a little bit of dirt kind of fall between the flabs of its skin. That's going to get infected. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's unnecessary detail. No, it's great detail. <laughs> Taylor, you're up. Um, I need to attack this uh, goblin behind me. Yeah. Yeah. So you pull the whip whoosh, and smack the goblin. Yeah. Hit. There's so many dice all the time. Yeah, I know. No, I just this game is it. a lot of dice, Dan. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh. Aww. Is that any, what's the bonus? That is, that is total. Oh, no, you kind of, it's behind you a little bit, and you kind of whip right over the top of its head because it's shorter than you. this big slab of meat you've been hitting. Uh, you can move, but things will get attacks of opportunity against you. Um, yeah, no, I'm just going to wait there for a second. You can inspire. Okay, so let's do that. You have to, who do you want to inspire, and you have to say something inspiring to them? I need to inspire. <laughs> Ser <laughs> Serenia, is that your name? Serenia? Yeah, yeah. So you look across, and you make eye contact with the wood elf, <laughs> who's standing on the stone, notching an arrow. What are you seeing to her? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall like, up in this. Perfect your aim, perfect your aim, so we can keep playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> so take a d6 inspiration dice, you can add that to your next attack roll. Right. Okay. Uh, then it is... Yep. 
everyone's favorite raging halfling. So he's sneezing right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait one moment. Damon takes out a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's now we're rage. <laughs> Now your first one, you kind of sneeze during it. <laughs> you swing again. This is your offhand, so you don't get the strength. Just plus two. Just plus two. Okay. Twenty-two. Natural one. Uh-huh. Yeah. So roll your d6 twice. Two d6 plus two damage. Two d6 plus two. Okay. Um, eleven. Nice. So knowing that you hit the same area. Twice, your next shot comes in at an angle and kind of cleaves off this uh, triangle piece of meat out of its mm-hmm. thigh or shin uh, for 12. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Um, good, good. Good. I really just want you to say, now we'll eat you for dinner. I, <laughs> just, like, I really want you to just like, put that away. Like, I'll oh, it's that it's not meat. It's like solid gristle that fell oh. off. Oh, mm. uh, oh. Then it is... So right here. Don't. So right. Don't. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attack the the giant again. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Eleven, ten, sixteen. That hits. <coughs> ten. Ten. Damage total. Right. Yeah. So after hitting it once with your stab up, you pull your sword out. Flip it over in your hand and stab into it a second time. Like, I got this. Trying to be as cool as everyone else. You do a full 10 points of damage. Awesome. Remember me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's their turn. The, uh, the flab giant who's still mad that it just had a piece of its skin hatched off. Her. I'm going to eat you, little lady. <laughs> uh, 22. Uh, yeah. 24. So that's two slam oh. attacks, and then it's gonna oh, do its squatting pin. So make a DC, make a uh, strength check. This is a natural one. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this giant. Double clap you like this, doing. Let me do that damage real quick. You're gonna half this, so. Uh, seven, eight, nine, Fourteen. So it's seventeen divided by two. Eight and eight. a half. Yeah, so eight. You take eight points of damage, and it grabs you and sits on you. <laughs> sits on you. So it's sitting down in the middle of this battle. It does not count as prone, but you are currently sat on. Is she sitting on her? Where is Sandy Clearwater in all of this? Uh, make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Or what's your passive perception, actually? Um, 11. 11, yeah. You can see Sandy <coughs> right in front of you guys, kind of sprawled out. Somehow none of us have hit her. <laughs> no, you guys are kind of stepping around her. But now, now that she she was in between the flab giant's legs, but now that the flab giant's grabbed this person and sat on her, uh, she's sitting back, and you can see Sandy better because she's now in front of her. You see these big flab giant toes. <laughs> yeah. Now does have to make it a hit roll on her. Uh, so it is. Goblin that's gonna swing at uh, the bard and rolls a natural one, so it misses. Uh, then it goes to Shelby, who is inspired. <laughs> yeah, uh, is Hunter's Mark still in effect? Yes. Okay. Alright, so if I hit it, I'm gonna shoot another arrow at it. Okay. That's a seven. <laughs> you can add your inspiration. Seven oh, total. And then I get to add the d6. If you want to. If you want to, you can say Yeah, that. I'm... Eight. Nah. <laughs> nah, your arrow, again, Good. sinks into it with that kind of noise. Ah, the mic's not going to pick that up. Kind of noise, but uh, now that 
it's sitting down, it's got even more of its natural kind of <laughs> wrinkles uh, armor Lines. protecting it. So yeah, your arrow just kind of hits in between two rolls. Uh, yeah. Lovely. So it is Panda's turn. Okay. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of <laughs> All right, I'm trying. I need these guys. <laughs> Nice bard spell cards, by the way. Legit. Flash them for the camera. <laughs> can I, like, <laughs> I just took the ones I needed. Can I move up I to where the halfling I is and just kind of reach under and try to <coughs> touch her? Um, the way I can. You're trying to heal her? her? Yes. Uh, make a perception check. That means by the range of ones. Yeah. 10 plus 2, 12. Okay, you can see her. Um, there's like a clear tunnel in between. This uh, thing's butt crack <laughs> that you can see the halfling. Can I reach the halfling? Uh, can make I a slide of hand check. If you beat a 10, so then yeah. 10 minus 1. Oh, uh, nine. So you reach in there and you just get a whiff of what this thing smells oh. like and pull your oh. head back. Oh, uh, uh, that, that on be your funny. own. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. I'll still give you a bonus action. So if you can do something as a bonus action. Alright, I will, I will just do Sacred Flame. Is that a bonus action? Oh, no, no, yeah. I, don't, no I don't have any more. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything. Uh, more. you have to kind of hold back vomiting a little, too. You kind of do one of those throw up in your mouth moments. Uh, Rebecca, to the monster uh -huh. that is yeah. Viar, Viari. 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 Different than Viari, guys. Viari. So, what do you do? I'm just gonna start marking off the image. <laughs> okay, so at this point, can I use my dagger then? Yeah, you can activate it now as a bonus action. Okay. And. Make a two hit roll. I uh, rolled nat 13. Plus your, your normal attack modifier, I'm assuming. It has a 14 AC, so you're gonna hit. Oh. Sorry, I'm thrown off by. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's one of your short performances of plus five, I think. Yeah, plus five. So yeah, you hit 18. Okay. So yeah, you hit it with the dagger of venom. Okay. Uh, read that out loud to me. Dagger of venom. Um, you gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage. Oh, so you hit it with a plus one from the dagger too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Made with this magic weapon, you can use this action to cause thick black poison to coat the blade. The poison remains for one minute or until the attack using this weapon hits a creature. That creature must succeed on a DC 15 constitution <coughs> saving throw or take 2d10 poison damage and become poisoned for one minute. Yeah, so you uh, grab a section of its flab, lift it up, flip the dagger up in the air, catch it, it ignites with this black poison, and you stab it right in between the flaps. Uh, it's gonna make a DC 15 constitution check. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do it on the camera. Uh, it's got a plus three to the con. No, makes it eight, and it's poison. So roll your damage. So it's dagger plus two D eight. Or it's plus two. sneak attack. Plus, plus sneak two attack. D ten. Help her do that, because that's gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, so roll one D six. Six. Plus okay. four, it's ten. Now roll two D six. Plus the one, because it's plus I did that. Okay. Plus 2d6 sneak attack. 7. So 17. And now roll me 2d10. That was a d20. Oh, sorry.
Hey, if you're watching right now, you can hear us, comment that you okay. can hear us. Okay, uh, good. Oh, we're good? Yeah, I think okay. we can check now. Just to catch you up. Hit something for the first time. <laughs> it was a terrible hit. The arrow zinged into the neck of the giant. <gasps> that and it falls yeah, over. Seven, you still have to make a strength check to get out and run underneath it.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you cast a healing word. You have to sing for her as you and grab her hand to pull her up. Wake up! Wake up! Don't die today. Don't. Yeah, you wake back from unconsciousness. You stand up. See that the giant that had smacked you recently. Alright, we are back in action. Oh, so you shit. guys just slayed this flab giant. Yeah. yeah. Literally a flab giant. Thanks uh, to me. And lays just dead, sprawled out. So do some goblins who 
I assume while they're asleep, you're going to kick into the, the running river. Uh, no, throat slitting, they kick into the river. Okay. <laughs> Seems a little overkill. Uh, but. <laughs> I had a good shot. I'm, I'm finishing uh, this. <laughs> who, uh, what do you guys want to do now? Uh, first of all, here you go. Thank you. Well, I guess we should oh, check on yeah, yeah. the yeah. water. Andy's Appreciate that. Can we still keep it in the bag? So you want to check out Sandy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so she's just very, this, this, uh, May chain is still trying to undo her, but it can't pull the rope. It's not strong enough to pull the rope out from underneath there. But it's still trying. She's just wrapped around. She seems to be unconscious. Okay. She'll wake up eventually. <laughs> She'll be fine. I want to loot the, the, what's it thing? The fat body. Okay, so the flab giant um, I don't want to touch has that, that flag, almost backpack, but it's more like a sack that's wrapped around its neck. Yeah. With the deer in it. Yeah. Yes. So you open it up and you find a deer. Nice. And some fruit that's smashed, and some awesome. other random assortments of meat, and that's okay. about it in the actual bag itself. If you guys look around more, you will find a very clear pile of stolen things that were brought here from goblins and the giants themselves that look like they were going to be wedding, wedding gifts. Yeah. So we you guys the pile. go yes. through that pile? We yes. that pile. Yes. All right, so... Uh, make a perception check, and I'll, the highest roll will get the first thing. I mean, you guys can divvy up the loot. Don't forget we can. How you want, oh, but. Can we get an advantage? 14? I can have 15. 18? 20. 20. 20. Nice. I figured you would be able to. Jake, you want to come around? Oh, John, come here. Oh, wait. Well, I have you oh, wait. I didn't 17. add. 17. Oh, sorry. 19. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh wait. <laughs> so, actually, 17. stay there in case I need you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best, buddy. Uh, <laughs> so you find a token that looks magical, and it's about the size of a swan boat, but it's really small. Okay. Do I have any idea what it's for? No. Oh, okay. <coughs> you know it's magical. No. Okay. Who had the next highest? 18. Okay. That's you find a little, uh, it's not like a potion bottle, but it's a little vial of some sort of liquid. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like red, kind of pink if you sw- swirl around. And uh, I don't know anything about it. No. Okay. I had 17. 17? Mm-hmm. Okay. You find another vial. This one, the liquid is like kind of shaking constantly. Like vibrating? Yeah, it's like if you hold the bottle to your ear, you can hear like a... Oh. <clears throat> Open it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to open right it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you Ten bullets. Uh, and then there's a. Who had the next one? Amanda. You find a uh, silver necklace with some uh, red gemstones in it. It's not magical, but it looks valuable. I got a 13. It matches. I you got Amanda. six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not painting that on the mini. It goes with it. your yeah. own. I'm not painting it on the mini. I just, just kick around, around in it. So you find a uh, large copper chalice, almost like it's a trophy and not actually made to be drank out of. I got six. Do uh, not get drunk. This was all kind of sitting on this uh, big curved, almost like elephant skull. Awesome. Uh, but it's, it's about big enough for you to carry. You can probably sell it. Might as well. Yeah. Just imagine you're just walking around. Pretty much. Mine now. Was that everyone? Yeah. Yes. Yep. So you have to go get those magic things ID'd by someone. You said elephant skull? Yeah, the big skull. Okay. So, you guys are out here in the wilderness. What do you want to do? You know you are in the home of King Bolm. Well, should we check on Sandy? Yeah, yeah let's try to wake her Make sure she's yes. actually alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's yes. check her pulse. Let's over <laughs> and <laughs> wake her. Try to wake her. She's actually alive or just knocked uh, out? She, she is I alive. Know, okay. You can check her pulse. Make a medicine check. See if you can wake her up. Oh, yeah. I got plus three in it. I got eight plus four, so. Yeah. Um, you Take know her. that she's comfortable and mm-hmm. healthy. All her vitals are, are so fine. Six spell? But she's magically put asleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I? Uh, 
magically wake her up. Yeah. <laughs> How do we do that? Uh, has everyone got a D spell magic? No. Uh, probably your wizard would have one, but she's sick. Awesome. Yeah. Wizard has a D spell herself. So someone's <laughs> gotta carry her. <coughs> I'll carry her. Yeah, she's not tuned to the bottle, so you can't suck her in the bottle. Wait, can we just put the uh, scarf of flying on her and just like hover her? Carry her like a right. kite? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what we do. <laughs> that's what she's gonna wake up like No need to God. strain <laughs> anything. She just hovers. So what do you guys want to do? Do you want to? You have a couple options. You can wait here and see if King Bowl member comes back. Well, we should. Well, should we see we why you wanted get her? You wanted to marry her before the city is destroyed. Or yeah, because she was saying, why do you want someone so skinny? I mean, yeah. I don't really give a Maybe shit why he wanted to marry her. Because That's not my he was issue. probably trying to save her. Would be my guess. Save her from what? From being yeah. a sacrifice. No, he just wants another wife. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't thinking with maybe he's a nice guy. We don't know. Yeah. See his first wife. We <laughs> <laughs> met his first wife. Yeah. yeah. I, I say no wives. I say we just take her back. Forget this king, dude. I don't really want to well, deal with that. Well, if we don't get back in time anyway, the city's going to be destroyed. Yeah. Now, exactly. we'll go find another sacrifice, but Beatrix well, wants you to find the first one. She was supposed to be already, so she can just go back. Yeah, this, this <laughs> would be like third <laughs> tier sacrifice. So yeah. Whoever, whoever they're sacrificing this to would not be very happy with this so third tier like, sacrifice. He might bring more people with him, and that'd be probably like bad for us, because if we're outnumbered, Ooh, we're screwed. Exactly. Yeah, it depends on it's supposed to be a wedding. I'm guessing there's supposed to be a lot of subjects around. I didn't we don't fight this subject giant are. just to not bring this woman back. We also don't know how sacrifice. strong his feelings for her, or whatever degree they were, uh, were, so he might come out. I know what we can do. Let's just... <laughs> I'm going to pull my arrow out of her neck and take one of the goblin's arrows and put it in there. No. Make them think yeah. that they attacked her, and let's just go. Uh, roll a deception. We'll see how well that goes over. How well you make it look. Uh. That's a four. Yeah, no, you kind of miss and <laughs> stab an extra hole in it. <laughs> yeah, my Damn fear, it! My fear is that he's just going to try to come after us. Yeah. If That's he does possible. have an army of people. Well, I mean, we already killed one of his wives, and then we took the next one. We took one. the yes. other one. So, so we, we took the pretty angry. one, let's be honest. <laughs> I said we just book it. This, I mean... Are we gonna stay here? Do you guys want to fight this dude? Because I really don't want to fight this dude. I mean, no, but he's want to. You were doing better than me until the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, like, how's he gonna fucking know? Like, I mean, I, he's gonna know. He's not, actually, I mean, how does he gonna know it was us if we just kind of like drop well, this can, woman off to be sacrificed? He's gonna get mad at these other people for sacrificing her, and we're just gonna be like, oh, that sucks. Like, go after them. They're killing her, not us. But we're the ones who took her. And, we don't and if he attacks the city, he attacks the tavern. Yeah. Which is what we're trying to That's say. your home. Like, but it's gonna, yeah, I think nice he'd more so attack the palace than the tavern. Like, he'd be like, this specific tavern gets fucked. Like, <laughs> like, 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 well, I'm gonna say, they're gonna destroy the tavern before they get to the palace. So. Oh, and their giants uh, I mean, would be crushing a lot. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. He's, he's I mean, because I'm totally guarding this. I totally would rather not have to fight this dude, but I know that yeah. potentially yeah, I don't they, can they can track us <laughs> back to the city. We want to fight him, but, but we might have, have to. Anyway. Might have to it's one of those where it's like damned if we do, damned if we don't. Maybe Are you guys kids doing on health? I'm um, perfectly fine. Not so I'm high. Right. Saying, but I know some others. Are don't we have health potions not. left? Uh, <laughs> I used mine as like oh, flag on. Yeah, him. and the tiefling has one of them, but. She's in the genie bottle. Exactly, so. So, who wants to, I mean, let's take the vote. What do you want to do? I said we just flip the coin. Do you want to go back to town or wait for King Boom? Should we uh, try to get Sandy out of this mess first, though? Yeah, yeah I would Maybe rather. we should put her to somewhere safe first. Get back to town. Yeah, get let's her do that. Time. Yeah, and then we can. Deal with King Boom later. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to run the risk of her getting. So you back. you you guys decide to head back to the tavern then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone make a just roll a d twenty for random encounters on the way back. Someone. See, we all know yeah. how my rolling is. So. Uh, you got a seventeen. Oh yeah, you got the good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys picked the right you person to roll for cool. you too. Yeah. By the way. I would have nat one. What did that do to magic, everybody on the internet? You would have all died. Our nice little tavern. Can you stop pointing at everything? We're very distracted. <laughs> well, then I gotta go home. Good okay. Very good, baby. So everything should be fine good. now. Yeah. There should be no more problems. It's behaving just like it was before. So if you have any problems, again, just call me. 
Thanks Thanks again, John. John. Thanks, John. John, the savior of Rome. First nerd stuff. Oh, my bag. Not your flyer bag. Did we get, like, experience and stuff and all that? Yes, you'll get it at the end of the session. Oh, she's like, I want it now. I did so good. Uh, let me think. Who else is there? Uh, Uh, Something almost died. What? I said, not really. Something almost died. Oh, they said, you did. I was like, what? Yeah, there's another guy. There's a guy behind the bar. Table. Oh, right. She's probably reopened this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Barkeep, I need a strong drink. <laughs> and Barkeep, we need free food. <laughs> Just it's, saying. We're pretty hungry. Sis, yeah. um. <laughs> it's, so it's very uh, calm in there. There calm. are a few people uh, that you see immediately. Yeah. But Beatrix is happy to see you. Cool, yeah. Uh, she, she comes up, and she's with. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Seaworthy, this they're kind of this guy. They're kind of they're kind of talking. She seems to be. She was kind of like touching his forearm and giggling. Uh, and you guys walk in and she stops and straightens up. Hi. As hey. terrible voice. That was <laughs> oh oh my god! You guys came back so quickly. How'd it go? We got that lady you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found her. Oh, uh, great. Um, I mean. She's gonna be sacrificed, but well, it's better than you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I guess it was better than me. Uh, and she's still kind of hovering sideways as you guys kind of <laughs> file in. I'm gonna kinda set her care. over a table and just whip the scarf off. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Got this knee on a table. Andrew goes. Uh, what's wrong with her? She's asleep. Yeah, you know any magic people that can undo yeah. this? Yeah, we don't. We're out. That. We're uh, tapped out. We did yeah, our job. I do know someone, and he kind of looks around, uh, kind of makes eye contact with this guy, and this guy knows to leave the bar. I wish we had a good time here. <laughs> and uh, this guy's drunk on the table, so that seems very good. And he kind of beckons to someone to come out of a room, and from behind you comes this man awesome. who's, I can't describe him, he is, he looks like an elf. Almost like a high elf, but more elf than elf. I know that's a terrible description. His ears are... <laughs> Extra pointy? Yeah, Extra no, seriously. Elf to elf. Um, yeah. His hair kind of looks like hers, but it's water. water like moving ears. water. But also his cloak is doing the same thing. It's like so moving it's like water. like a shimmery... Yeah. Um, and it seems like there's almost direct uh, light on him at all times, wherever he moves. And he kind of... Walks up to you guys with this uh, drink uh, of wine, and you can see a pearl in it. And he, he sips wow. on it. That's fancy. <laughs> Quite. Oh, I see. And he wiggles his hand, and she. Ah, where am I? What's going on? Who are you? Chill. Why are there all these strange people? Just chill. And he goes. Puts her back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. So, could uh, one of you put her in a in a room tonight? Yeah, she can have my room. You want to carry her over there? Uh, she's on it. Freaking love to. <laughs> okay. So at this point, he's in front of you guys, and they're kind of here. Ooh, I'm killing people. Uh, and this guy, who you guys recognize as that old knight, uh, who is now wearing a white apron goes uh, <laughs> I should probably leave the seams sandwiches go <laughs> and he kind of walks back here and into this room into the kitchen you better be bringing some food yeah. 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 since we're still hungry yeah. 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 did we bring that deer back I mean you guys kind of got fired uh, he's fine uh, no you did bring the deer back oh crap uh, nobody said put it in a bag of holes everyone have everybody <laughs> He goes, so, uh, everything you guys do makes ripples, you know? Uh, you break into my palace. Uh, that sucks. Oh, his, his. And you, you. you steal sacrifices. Uh, I would be more mad if someone hadn't already done that. But it seems like groups of girls are... <laughs> 
my biggest bane at the moment. <laughs> uh, Will and Andrew chimes in and goes, let me explain. I am the face of this town. I am on the books, the judge, the mayor. But really, this is the River King. And he's who pulled the palace in from the uh, plane of water. And he kind of calls the shots. But because of Uriah, we can't let them know he's on the prime material plane. So that's why we keep the River Lord secret. So you never met him here. Do you understand? Sure. Understood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So the reason I'm here now is I was told by your lovely friend, and he kind of gestures at Beatrix who turns bright red, um, that you guys were not okay with this whole sacrifice thing. Yeah, it's not cool, Dad. Yeah. I don't like it either. <sighs> we have to do it, because the Lord of Searing Flames helps maintain the castle. But, and he drinks his wine, if he was somehow removed from the picture, we would no longer have to do, do these sacrifices. Well, let's see where this mm -hmm. is going. <laughs> We're being contracted well, for a hit. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. You guys don't have to start this journey if you don't want to. You have two options. You can work in secret for me, or you could be a above uh, the table certified adventuring group for Seaworthy. Which one pays more? <laughs> Nobody's gonna ask it, I am. Many opportunities for riches with either of us. I don't know if we're really an on the books kind of group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Says the shady rogue. Yeah. You know what she's like, I wouldn't want to sign my name. Yeah. I don't trust the government. The guy's like, I am the government. <laughs> yeah. Great. So, the very formidable opponent, to say the least. And it will take time to prepare you for him. He controls a planar creation. So I'm going to explain this. And to create a plane of existence, you have to have some sort of focus to channel magic through. And what happened is this fire and he ripped an eye out of the Lord of Syrian Flame and used it to create the element to it. Um, then this eye has residual magic, and it's almost like a stone eye, and over millennia it took Uriah to gain it back, and he is the current ruler of the planet of fire. Uh, so that's who you're being contracted to kill. Well, that doesn't sound that bad. I was going to say, it felt easy. I mean, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> you will probably need things like some of the 30 swords, and maybe a, th uh, a stone of planar creation yourself. So how do you find these things? Look. <laughs> well, how do we find them? Yes. So, Andrew here used to work for a pirate, and that pirate has a compass that points you to what you're looking for. So what you need to do <laughs> is you need to find the pirate boat Grief, which if you can take the boat, it'll help you because the boat can cross to any plane of existence, sails there and back, and you'll be able to look for the stones with the compass. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Yeah. 
Do you know where <laughs> he is now? No, but I'm sure... You just have to ask around? There are plenty of, uh, how would you say, not lawful people in town. Buccaneers. Pirates. That you could try to ask where to find them. Yeah, Let's send the rogue to do it. Send the rogue to do it. Well, it is quite late. So. Oh, I should sleep. We I'm going to eat. leave. Yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah, where's Wager Boy with our food? <laughs> if you need me, ask Andrew, and I'll try to come help. Cool. Is there anything you need? Sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> You got anything you, you want to give us? Like, out can of the he, like, tell of your heart to help us. Help yeah. Us he drinks the rest of his wine and sets the glass on the table. If you look around, you'll find help. Okay. Real quick, quick is shoes. the pearl still in there? Yeah. 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 Was like that pearl. He puts down. You snag it. You notice that it's magical. Awesome. Pocket in that shit. Mine now. At this point, how many days is it until a sacrifice needs to be made? Uh. About two before we sacrifice the young lady that you brought. Are you taking her? Cause yes. Okay, cool. Okay. We don't want to deal with her anymore. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was like, they, I need they a room sacrifice her. We've had another... How, 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 did they sacrifice every year? or? Yes. What we got until next year to kill him, then. <laughs> we just let sacrifice so her. So he like, walks past time. you. Yeah. The air is humid next to him, too. And he goes into that room that she was in, and you just see a flash of light, and they're gone. Awesome. Oh, I gotta move in. All right, Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice goes, uh, so you'll all be staying again tonight? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Where's my wolf? Oh, the, the wolf's over here in the corner sleeping. Okay, quick. <laughs> so make sure he's still alive. Yep. Okay. Well, anything you need looked over? Yeah, the magical stuff. How do we find out what they are? Oh, I don't do magical stuff, but anything else I can I can try to figure out the value of. Yeah, oh well, look at this elephant skull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna toss this. That was in the bag of holding right no. here. Oh, that uh, is interesting. Uh, I mean, it's not in the best shape, well, but it can probably be worth about twenty five gold pieces. Done. Where? I mean, I would buy it off you and there decorate. You go. Done. So, you do owe me money, though. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> it's an extra you sleep here for free. Yeah. I keep bad people out. And I just saved your life! You really want to play this game? Okay, fine. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy comes back out. He's been eavesdropping the whole time. Oh, uh, here's gold. And goes back into his room. Awesome. <laughs> And I happen to have a large copper chalice. <laughs> oh. I thought gold for that to make you feel good. To make you feel good. Mm. Alright, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. necklace that I that I cannot see. Oh. Um, it's kind of out. Around 200 gold for it. Ask Aww. the sea dude. Well, yeah, husband. he's got it. Ask Just be hubby. like, hey, you want some for your wife? Yeah, hey, I think she likes You say it. that, that's sly, too. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, <sighs> She obviously likes it, and I bet he could afford it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Are you going to say no to your new wife? We yeah. might like you a little more. Uh, yeah. Gosh. These are going to be to death to me. He pulls out. You married into this bum. Some gold and hands it to you. If you hurt her, we will be the best. It's about yeah. 250 gold. Nice. Ooh. And he goes, take the ring, honey, or the necklace, honey. <sighs> I can't be around your friends for very long. <laughs> well, guess what? You gotta deal with this for the rest of your natural born life. They're wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. No, uh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. And he kind of kisses her on the cheek and leaves. I like his little pews. <laughs> he just leaves. Yeah. Runs more like it. Like, yeah. Get out of here. There's way too much estrogen. Yeah. Uh, hey, anything else? You guys want to go to sleep? Yeah. I want to eat. Yes. Yeah, eat and then go to bed. Yeah, so... Well, uh, it's a trance. 
Yeah. You guys kind of sit around and Four eat, and Beatrix mm-hmm. comes up to, let me pick you, since you're me? the most employed person here. Employed? She goes, hey, you want to wanna move the uh, the big guy on the table? I'd freaking love to. Yeah, so tell me what you do. Uh, I go over there and just kind of, like, shove him. He <laughs> rolls off the table. At this point, you realize he is a, a very large man. Stands up and he doesn't have an arm. It's in a sling. He stands up. Oh, oh. So wait, hold on. He doesn't have an arm, or it's in a sling. Uh, he's got like a stump that's kind in, of a, in sling. a sling. Okay. Yeah. And he, just, uh, he pulls out an axe and slams it on the table, and uh, uh, he pulls out about ten gold and puts it on the table, and then lays back underneath it. <laughs> underneath I'm it. gonna take the axe and the gold. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, I'm gonna ask Beatrix whether she wants me to drag him out you or just let him. Let it. <laughs> I mean, it's too gold to stay the night. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. Okay, well then, does she I want mean, me to, like, drag him up to a room or just let him to the table? I mean, if he's comfy there, I Then there we go. Alright, All good. Right. I'm taking that axe, that's fine. Okay. It's too gold for the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, and your dog kind of sniffs him a little bit.
Oh, my <laughs> golly, I will oh. reach everyone. Yeah. Taking them all. All right. We're good. Oh. We're good. Yeah. He's pretty. We're good? He's yeah. probably also like Tom oh. 16. He is beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he is Tom 16. Okay. Wow, that was a good yeah. guess. That means he's like level 16. If he's Tom 16, 16 in there, that means in the normal manual he's like Tom 18 to 20. He has 32 levels of spell casting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at it. Yeah, because your, your oh. challenge rating is half your total level, so if he's... 16, the, that's 32 uh, level. Two of these. Oh, two of these. Two of these. What? He it's would make any of the judges look oh, like a fucking puppet. And you guys just got hired to kill his counterpart. Yeah. 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 Which means that he can't kill, which means... Uh, you guys are fighting something. You're fighting a power power with an ancient dragon. So everything's back online right now. Awesome! Eventually. That's like their end boss. Alright, yeah. so we're ready? Yep, everything's it's going right now. So. Are we live right now? Yeah, cool. right now. Oh, cool. yeah. I had to flip it over to be able to test it. Oh, hey, like sorry. Yeah, right. Okay, so we Birdie should and Fanny awesome. will be right back. Uh, they weren't doing anything anyway. Uh. <laughs> so, Taylor, that punishment yeah. we had. Talk about it. Uh, the pink one. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, when Somebody I drink it. Dare you. <laughs> no. I was, ooh, I hit this camera. What happened? Yeah. How's it look? I'm just cutting. How's it look? It's sorry. terrible. I'll fix it. Yeah. Can you still see Sarah? No. Yeah, there's a little cut off here. Can you see the star? The Me? star. Okay, you want to get around and fix that? Okay. So <laughs> after I put away the knife. Yeah. Why do you Too have busy that? trying to cut you. So it's, it's on the table. <laughs> hey, if you've been with us tonight, we appreciate it. Just tell me when we're hot and turn. Just move. I can't. All right. How's it look? I say it turn looks. Turn back this way. Hold. Oh. Good. Okay. See, it's not that big deal. All right. God, my face is just like. She goes, you want to go get them, by the way? Maybe. <laughs> she goes, uh, when I was a girl, my dad gave me one of these. Excuse me. And it was really helpful. And she'll whisper in your ear <coughs> this. Grafting. Banana. So once so everyone sits down, you can read it. Secrets don't make friends. <laughs> Take a seat. Sorry, we're live. Yeah, we're live. Okay. All right. yeah, I'll plug that in. Okay. <laughs> really, Ben? <Benjamin? laughs> so. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna hand him your phone, but he's uh, right now. Sorry, so. I was off helping Orcus. <laughs> Orcus, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's Demon real. Lord Orcus. <laughs> so you want to read out loud? What the that? filter of love potion, Ooh. uncommon. The next time you see a creature within 10 minutes after drinking this filter, you become charmed by that creature for one hour. If the creature is of a species and gender you are normally attracted to, you regard it as your true love while you're charmed. This potion's rose-hued, effervescent liquid contains one easy-to-miss bubble shaped like a heart. Mm. All right. It's a love potion. Yeah. Yeah. So none of us should drink it. Right. Maybe like a use it on somebody else kind of thing. Right. It's like definitely an ensnare. Basically, type of pass it to the sure. boat. Yeah. Just want to make drink. sure it's not like a shot one of us is gonna take. Yeah. No. 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 I'm gonna ask her what mine does then. I have to pretend one? I don't know yeah. about that. Oh she God. looks at it. And goes, no idea. No idea. Great. I mean, no, I'm not drinking it. <laughs> it's not happening. It tells me the fail or the judge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, not about that. Not the risk Okay. So. Any, anyone need anything else discussed? No, I'm ready to. Yeah. Feel just bed down for the night. Just, just crash out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Eat and tramp. Yeah. Eat and tramp. So you guys sleep. We'll say you wake up in the morning, and that large guy's gone. Oh, good. And we've already been awake for four hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Uh, we're playing cards. We're just like, hey guys. You guys are like, hey. There's coffee. I yeah. imagine the half orc has just got the worst bed head mm -hmm. in the world. And where do you sleep at? One of the rooms, I'd like no, to think. Your room's being rented out now. Oh, that's right. Well, I'll just sleep on the fucking tables. <laughs> <laughs> that like, sounds about right. Yeah, pretty much. I don't care. There's like a carpet and a fireplace over like here. I don't know. Yeah. I say, it. But me and the wolf will chill out next to each other because he likes my warmth, but that's about it. Where do you sleep, barbarian? So there are no rooms available? Yeah, no. Okay, well. There's, there's a room for her and the half orc, but would be called the kids first. Kids. Wow, okay. You guys. <laughs> we have our own room. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Um, I only take up a little bit of <laughs> room. I'll just That's go to a corner either. or a closet it's somewhere. A fireplace. Yeah, there's a fireplace. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, but she's next to there. We can chill out together. Her. Okay. We chill out. We talk. Tell her to move. She's warm enough. <laughs> you lay on this thick rug in front of the fireplace and relax. Uh, but yeah, you wake up and come together and the uh, river lord is back there. Oh, cool. He yeah, has yeah. popped through the room. Okay, everybody make a line and we're going to tell him we have yeah. questions. I have a question. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh. This, this okay. axe. I want to know about yesterday. it. Well, good morning. Yeah. Where'd you get an axe? It's yeah. not important. We just need to know what it does. Yeah. It was here. I found an axe. I gave it to her, and friend. I would like I know, to know like, if I made a mistake. <laughs> oh. Okay. And he takes your axe, and he's like, just a magic axe. It does plus one damage. Plus one to hit, plus one damage. Fantastic. Hands it back to you. Can you it's basically what I see. Yes. With our friend. What? We are concerned about our friend who oh. has fallen ill. Oh. Just, something magic, and I cannot dispel it. Where's your friend? I'll just blow up Genie Bottle. <laughs> Boom. Pop. So you open up the Genie Bottle, and then it takes a minute for her to come out. You're like, she's coming, I promise. <laughs> just give it a second. Just give it, yeah. <laughs> One second. And this tiefling kind of slides out of the bottle. <laughs> he, uh, seven with you? Yes. Yeah. Eight if you count the wolf. If it doesn't do anything. <laughs> he doesn't count. He doesn't count. <laughs> Yeah, the wolf doesn't even move. <laughs> exactly. You're like, wolf! Grunts and kicks Come the leg. Lay, da- lay down, wolf. He listens to me real well. <laughs> ah! Wolf, sleep. Uh, good boy. Good wolf. He puts his hands on the tiefling and moves back. And puts his hands back on her and moves back. He goes, <coughs> she'll be fine. Um, and he reaches in and pulls out the book, the necromancer's book. And goes, necromancy is the dying magic. And part of that is it takes a part of your soul when you learn how to channel necromantic spells. She'll be fine. She just needs a rest. But uh, she's walking a very dangerous path. And he sets the book on her chest, but then looks at you, Taylor, says, you need to take care of your friend. Keep a close eye on her. Anything else? That's not bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm not drinking it. We don't know what it does. Same. And he takes it and goes, You don't know what this does? No. The, the humming didn't give it away? It he, hums. It's different. He, you see his skin is pale, and it almost turns to liquid as a small glass bottle comes up to his palm. And inside is a note, and he hands it to you. And that would be this. You uh, know, uh, almost <laughs> jump hit. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't want to think it was that Assume. obvious, but it, yeah, it's that yeah. obvious. Uh, potion of speed, very rare. When you take this potion, you gain the effect for a hate spell for one minute. No concentration required.
Yeah, back in action. Me. All right, we are back in action. Oh, so you shit. guys.